Hey up guys, Ben out culture. Um I can finally do the second half of these pickups. It's been just been waiting for this stuff to come. It's been ages for whatever reason, but I don't know, it happens and it sometimes stuff seems to come really quicker than others. You're just waiting and waiting and waiting. But it's it all finally turned up. Um so I've got some Spectrum games and some Mega Drive uh, games and I've also got one item that I'll do on on the end of this video. I'll do um, a bit of an unboxing for you. Um, show you see show you what that's like. So we'll crack on then with with Spectrum stuff. This is like I say, it's it's really sparked all my interest in in Specky just recently, and I was looking at some of um, Big Mike's. Uh, without further ado, retro some of his uh, Specky games and sparked a lot of old memories and I thought I'll have to get some more back, back in collection and the first two absolute must haves for me uh, serious chunks of nostalgia-ness here uh, Dan Dare and Dan Dare 2 I'm going to try and get Dan Dare 3 as well I seem to remember 3 actually was the one I enjoyed most but I know these two are really good games they're cracking little games these um, I've had them loads of times over the years, but a bit interesting one with this one, it were dual format uh, cassette this, so you've got Amstrad CPC on one side and Specky on the other. don't know how many games they did like that, it'd be interesting to know if there were a fair few, whereas the original one was just Spectrum, um, but both on through Ricochet. Um, Three sort of classics here. I don't know if you've played them. You've probably heard of them. Um, Valhalla, um, text-based sort of adventure game. This really good, really good. Bit of a you know quite. I won't say advanced, but you know good good for its good for its time when it when it came out. I mean, nineteen eighty four game of the year. Nineteen eighty four. This. Bloody ancient. Um, another absolute classic if you haven't played it. Highly recommended. Trash Man. Some right, really good fun is that one. That's worth picking up. Dirt Cheap. These are all dirt cheap, by the way. And one, this, so I've got these in a three game bundle uh, for next to nothing, really. But this one I haven't played, but sounds really cool. Star Trader. Um, that sounded sounded like real good fun, did that? Um, so I'll, I'll try these out, definitely. Um, one that I had to get, and I'm going to get this on ST as well. I remember playing this in my mate's bedroom, loved it, loved the whole thing, had the books and everything. Um, so it's Advanced D&D, Heroes of the Lance. This is this is super game, is this? It really is, um, if you haven't played it. I mean, just when I looked at the, the manual for it. All right, I mean, albeit these, it's, there's two languages on here, but, you know, look at this, God, I mean, that, that whole page there, on that, that's, <laughs> there's a lot of bloody information there, and that's, that's all in English, that, the other side, I think, is in, in Italian, but yeah, that's all English, wow, super, that, uh, so I'm going to, going to put some time into that, and like I say, I've, I want to get it on um, Atari ST, that, because I, I love that game, I really do. And I thought I'd pick up another three classics um, by Imagine. Um, so we've got, these are probably, I'd say, the best, sort of, most famous titles, I think. The original 48K ones, and also we've got Zoom. Um, great game. Alchemist, um, like a graphic graphical adventure, and uh, that's and um, and Stonkers. All three highly recommended if you haven't played them. But that Stonkers, pretty groundbreaking at the time in a way, because it was almost like probably the first real time strategy game. Um, just cracking little games. Um, and that Zoom, brilliant, really as good as that. Um, so yeah, I mean, they, you're talking, like I said, a couple of quid each for these, again. It's uh, just a case of looking out there, and, but there's that, there's that many classics in there, but 
definitely worth getting. Uh, so on to Mega Drive, I've got f what we got four, four Mega Drive games. So the first one, this was absolutely cheap as chips, good condition and all. Um, F15 Strike Eagle 2. A cheap game, and the thing is, I only paid about seven quid for this, and the reason was so the box condition, cartridge condition, absolutely fine, but. It has got a manual, but it's missing, it's missing the front cover, which I'm not too fussed about. I I I class this as complete box complete. I, I'm not, you know, even though the cover's missing, I, I'm not I'm not too fussed about it. And like I say, for seven quid, come on, it's a steal in it, even you know, even with that damaged manual. Um, now these two here, one of the games. I was interested in off the back of one of um, T-Rex Space Station's video where it was five favourite schmucks on Mega Drive and the odd thing is this game it said had become quite pricey and sought after and the price had shot up and one of the other games he recommended a game called Fire Shark he said well, was still half decent money now when I've been looking it was the other way around um, the fire shark's been the pricier one to get hold on. I'm, I'm still looking looking out for that to try to get it for an half decent price. But this is Hero Win. I managed to get this and the Terminator um, as a bundle, and the guy did it for 23 quid all in, which I thought was, you know, really, really good of him to do that. Um, they're both complete. Got a slight bit of damage, which probably, in fairness, kept the kept the price down. I guess um, just torn out there. Look, if you can see all the front cover, but nevertheless, don't really bother me. Terminator is in great condition. That's well, the manual slightly dog eared, but there's n there's no damage as such. Um, the cases both both got hanging tabs, but yeah, top little shooter is this, um, and it. You know, it's it is fairly popular. Um, so yeah, really happy to get them. Really happy to get them too. Uh, and the last Mega Drive pickup, uh, yeah, we all know about this game, right? The controversial Strider Two. What a pack of shit, isn't it? It really is. But I just, you know, it, I think I got this for thirty quid, which is, is still. An half decent price. I like somebody was saying on here that you get some jokers on eBay trying to get 70, 80 quid for this. It's not an 80 quid game. Um, you know, the, the correct price for this at the moment is that I, I won't be paying more than 30, 35 quid tops for it uh, because it, it's a pretty appalling game. It's unbelievably frustratingly difficult for stars, um, but it's just, it's just. It's just naff, but it it's just one of them titles that you know if you if you are collecting Mega Drive, you, you know you want it you want it on the shelf regardless of of the actual game, and it is you know it's fairly collectible. It is fairly collectible, but don't 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 pay too much for it. There's no need to get. Um, so the last item, and I've oh, sorry about that. I'll lean over. It's, I've been after um, a fight stick for a while, an arcade fighting stick for a while, um, mainly to play MAME and what have you, and, MAME, and for a few, I've really been after Street Fighter Five, the arcade edition, uh, I'm going to get on, on PS4, no, no, I don't buy any more games for PS4, but we'll make the exception with, uh, with Street Fighter. Um, I nearly over Christmas time. I nearly got the digital digital version, but I've decided to go for physical. You know, hold on, go for physical, and it's fairly decent, decent money now. Cheap, you know, fairly cheapish to get. But I thought I'll get a decent fight stick. I was initially going to really push the boat out and shell out for the the uh, the Mad Cats, the official PS PS. Uh, so yeah, this is PS Four Street Fighter Five uh, fight. Arcade stick for that, but it's like hundred quid, and it's a lot of money. I mean, I know it's a, a decent, 
decent piece of kit, but I just couldn't really justify paying 100 quid. Um, so I settled on this and I got a really good deal on this, and it's Venom. Now, so I haven't opened it yet. Um, I guarantee you, it's, it's literally been sat on that chair uh, a few days, but I know it's not the best one out there. And I know it's not got like Sanwa buttons and all the rest of it, but I've read some reviews. You know, I, I, I took it seriously. I thought when I was looking at getting uh, one of these, and I, I read, I read loads and loads of reviews, and it, they they were generally favourable. Um, so I, I got this for like forty quid, and um, generally goes for I think for like fifty nine ninety nine. But yeah, a guy, I don't know how, but he just had a, I think he had about three. Um, so it's new, you know. It's it's like I say, I'll do the unboxing. It's not it's not used. Um, so I thought forty quid, just do it, and I've got one. So I like I say, I can do my meme, play some games, like fighters on meme now and what have you. And I'll, when I do get around to getting um, Street Fighter Five, I've got a decent stick now. So I'm going. I'll take the camera off the mount, and I'll. Um, We'll do a bit of an unboxing on this on far and see what we think quality wise, just initial look at before and then later down the line I'll do a bit of a sort of a bit of a review on that, how it actually plays. So alright guys. There I'll just do a jump cut, I'll get it all set up. Right, here we go, let's have a look at this. Alright, so what we got here. USB. Right. A bit awkward trying to get this out with one hand. So yeah, I know the button's not micro switched, um, whereas the, the the stick itself actually is. Um, I knew about all that. It's absolutely fine. Uh, it's got some fair decent bit of weight to it, which I'm happy about. So it'll sit <coughs> it'll sit on the uh, on the desk just fine. Um, metal base. Um, so I guess it's just going to be a case of, you know, seeing how the actual thing, see how the thing actually plays. Bit, bit hard to tell without. Seems all right though. Seems really sturdy, which, which I'm happy about. So we'll just have to see what it, what it actually plays like. Um, it's nice and, <clears throat> it's not the biggest one either. I think the uh, the Mad Cats one seemed to be quite, you know, good, a good deal longer. So, <coughs> space being what it is up there, lack of, and even, even even in this room down here, so it's smaller, the, probably the better actually anyway, but we've got the eight buttons, which is all, all we need. Um, it's got some, I'll just zoom in here, it's got like input, so it looks like PS3, so you can have PS3, PS4 settings, it's got turbo, turbo settings, <coughs> D-pad, Actual, don't know what that is, turbo button, select button, home button. So yeah, looking good, looking good. I'm chuffed with it for 40 quid. It's a bit of a steal really. So excellent. We'll um, we'll give that a try, definitely give that a try. So right guys, thank you so much for watching as usual. Um, really happy with pickups there, but I'm going to need to ease off a little bit now. Um certainly a bit with Mega Drive stuff I've got like I've already filled first, first shelf up and I'm just <laughs> I'm struggling where to put them in that bloody bedroom up there so um, I'm just going to be a bit more selective on what I what I do actually pick up but um, so as it stands now a bit of a recap in terms of what I am collecting so I've certainly uh, Specky 
and uh, Atari ST. Um, I'm I'm getting down to real nitty gritty in terms of PS2 games. So the the games that I am wanting wanting are come you know few and far between now and they're commanding you know serious amounts of money. So um, I, you know there ain't, ain't that many pickups in terms of PS2. PS1 I've moved away from now. I'm uh, not right bothered. Um, Super Nintendo I've moved away from now. Cartridge based stuff it's just going to be Mega Drive. Um, just going back to PS2 I'll probably just pick up the odd uh, Japanese Japanese game now as well. Now I've got um, setting up all the um, the debugging station and what have you get it all sort of bit of a rejig in the room but yeah so some good some quite a few uh, decent stuff out there still to collect certainly um and like i say i've cut right back on ps4 but just the odd title um, but i think I'm still heavily into the uh into mega drive collecting though definitely so all right guys i'll um i'll disappear for now and i'll um, hopefully catch you later on uh, this coming week and we'll do maybe do another arcade versus spectrum or i might do some more um uh, five ps2 titles something like that but we'll I'll, I'll definitely drop another video this week um so stay tuned right guys super thanks so much for watching take it easy